Hello, welcome to another good goal or bad defending Man City versus Chelsea. And uh, I didn't actually watch much of this game. I did did have a little peek at these highlights before uh, uh, we're doing a video here. But um, overall, look, it's been an awful season for Chelsea, but they're not getting relegated. So they can, you know, uh, love that. Rebuild again and go for next season and try to spend another half a billion quid. There's a problem, right? So uh, if you're looking at this, right, you've got that. You've got no one there, right? So that's a bit of a problem. But they play a weird back five system, which I don't think they... Well, Frank Lampard clearly doesn't understand, and I don't think they do. Um, the advantage of doing it is that you can basically have your three defenders in the middle, and you can have extra width out there, and it's easier to build from the back, and you can do a couple of extra things when you've got the ball in your defensive third here. The problem is they've got this situation right now, if you look at it, look, looking at it, right? You've got three players here. You can't really pass to him, because if you do, you're trying to thread the eye of a needle through these two players, and this guy's going to put pressure on him immediately. Unless he can turn instantly on the pass, and the pass is like absolutely brilliant, and he can turn and start going down here, it doesn't even help him when he does get the ball. Because where's he going to go? He can only really go back, or over to this fellow over here, or over to this side here. And you see, he can't really go over here. Because they're already in the three. Do you see that? They're already ready to close him. They're playing Piggy in the middle there. They've got their triangle there. That guy's available if you're watching what's really going on. And that's how Man City play, by, by the way. Uh, I'll get, get into that and why I know that another time. But um, right now, let's watch this pass go forward because this causes the goal. Bosch. He tries to play it where I told him not to play it to this, this player here who's got three around him. Okay? So he has to try to beat that. And it, the pass isn't good enough. It's nowhere near to his feet, right? It's into a little bit of space, and all sorts of problems break out. Bump goes in because the pass isn't quality, and he shouldn't have been playing it there anyway. But let's just look, go back and see why he has. He's played that pass in here, right? So let's look at this Chelsea Chelsea defender. He's played that pass in there for a couple of reasons. One, uh, he's delusional, and then he thinks he's Kevin De Bruyne, and he can slip in a really quality pass with some power on it, so this guy can turn and go down here. Right, but two, there's there's no option out here for him because this guy's gone on a picnic. He's run off down the line. That's probably the better ball right there, because even if this guy misses up the first touch, he can lay it back to here and they can build. Right, that's probably the only out ball this guy's really got, unless he just wants to move the ball around for no reason. He doesn't. He plays this ball into here, and all hell breaks loose. They ended up scoring from it because of this bad pass. A lot of it's because of the bad pass, actually. Um, if the pass was quality to the feet at pace, he, the uh, receiving player could have turned and got away. But none of that happened here whatsoever. And let's have a little look at what, what, what went wrong. So immediately the ball goes straight into there. Bump, and they're off to the races. Now you can see the couple of problems. Because that player uh, was off having a picnic, he's high. That exposed that whole side of the field. You can see he's going to immediately go on the overlap here and stretch this player out here. That gives the guy on the ball more time to decide what to do because he can't pressure. Well, he can. If that goes goes out there. I would. But it's Man City, so you know as soon as he's on the overlap, he's got an option to go there. All of a sudden, you're in loads of problems because this guy's way too far up the field and has been caught out of play. Let's move it on just a little bit more. Blah, 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 blah. In this guy's tracking, it's not fast enough. Now the play's opened up. You see, because uh, I think that's Phil Foden actually on the overlap there, it's starting to create this player a little bit of uncertainty. He's not even looking to see what's behind him. He hasn't got a clue. And that's where this pass comes in here. Quality pass. That's a quality finish, to be honest. These two defenders caught in no man's land. 2v2. Two players running them, um, not defending it. Like... It's, it's so difficult because that pass is so bad and they're so out of position because this guy's still up on the, you know, um, down a field. He can't really pressure the ball properly. Dump, 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 stopped. One little touch out of his feet into back of the goal. Bang. There we go. This is a difference of quality. Mistake from the defenders. Caused a great... Is it a good goal? Nah, it's a well-taken goal. It's not a great goal, though. It's a well-taken goal, but it's all just about bad defending not knowing where to pass the ball out of the back and getting it completely wrong when they do. I'll see you next time on uh, Good Goal or Bad Defending.